Hi guys, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'll answer a question which many of you have been asking uh, to me recently. It's about investing in the west of Hyderabad, especially towards Sadashupay. So many of you call me and ask, sort of, can I invest in Sadashupay area? It's growing. I can see a lot of buzz there. I can see a lot of new ventures coming up there. Is it worth investing in Sadashupay area? So let's discuss about Sadashupay and how good that location is for investment purpose, right? So let me let us go to my screen and let us see Google Maps and explore Sadashupay town and understand why it is growing leaps and bounds. Guys, I hope you can see my screen now. This is the Hyderabad. You can see this beautiful outturning road. It's like a jewelry around Hyderabad city. Amazing, isn't it? Now let's talk about the western part of Hyderabad, specifically the Mumbai Highway. City of Hyderabad has been always growing towards the western part of Hyderabad, specifically towards Mumbai Highway. If you see areas like Okay, Kukatpali, Miyapur, Chandanagar, BHCL, Patancheru, even Muttungi, even Isnapur right now. You see a lot of development has happened in the last few years. It has become a densely populated area. Generally, uh, in the past, people had a perception saying that, you know, Patancheru is polluted, a lot of industries are there. But see, now, Ramki is coming up with a huge pilot in Patancheru. If you cross uh, Muttungi, you will see a lot of apartments coming up on the road, on the main uh, highway. If you observe, you will understand. And the reason is very simple. It is outer ring road. From Muttungi exit, from uh, using outer ring road, you can reach Chikachiboli or financial district in hardly around 25-30 minutes, right? So people are preferring moving out of uh, outer ring road towards Muttungi, towards Sangha Reddy is what I can say. Now, one more interesting fact you have to understand is even our Telangana government is actually trying to develop Sangareti in a big way, in a good way. And a lot of people I know who are staying in Sangareti currently because of the affordability, they bought houses, lands long time back and they are preferring to settle there. Because in terms of commute from Muttungi till Sangareti, it is I think around 15 to 20 kilometers. So I'm talking from exit to exit, uh, the exit of Sangareti till the entrance of Muttungi. I think it is around 15 to 16 kilometers, less than 20 kilometers. It will take around 15, 20 minutes. And from there, again, 20 more minutes, you will reach Kachipoli. So Sangharati is becoming like a part of Hyderabad now. In fact, if you observe, uh, there is a proposal of metro train also in the future uh, towards Sangharati as well. So Sangharati slowly will become a part of Hyderabad. Sangharati to Mutungi is around 19 kilometers is what is showing. So if you talk from exit to exit, it's around uh, 20 kilometers, maybe less than that, around uh, 15, 16 kilometers, right? And from there, Sangareddy to assuming I want to go to financial district, ICICI Towers Financial District. It shows me around 47 minutes, right? Throughout the ring road. So in terms of commute, Sangareddy is still, there is a hope that, you know, people may travel. And apart from that, forget this logic. Apart from that, Sangareti is surrounded by industries. What I'm trying to say is it is still commutable. Sangareti is going to become a part of the city very soon over a period of time. And Sangareti is growing leaps and bounds. No doubt about it. You can go and visit. You will understand. Okay, It is as good as uh, Phuket Pali's right now. It has grown really huge. right? So why I'm talking about this is Sangareti is reachable. It's not, it is far, I agree, but in terms of traveling distance, because of outer ring road, it's still reachable to the current IT hub. Apart from that, Sangareti is surrounded by a lot of industries around it. Okay, Toshiba is there. Okay, if you go a little away, MRF is there. And a lot of small manufacturing units in Isnapur is there. So Sangareti is a place where it has all kinds of employment. Manufacturing employment, IT people also, a lot of people stay in Sangareti and the commute. Now, slowly, and then Metro reaches Sangareti, it will become much more easy to reach to Sangareti through Hyderabad. So, if that really happens in the future, Sangareti will become Hyderabad, right? So, Sangareti is going to be a part of Hyderabad. And after Sangareti, near Pedapur, after crossing Pedapur, before Nandikandi, somewhere here is the regional ring road coming up, right? Now, that is going to add much more ease of commute to the Mumbai Highway. Okay. And after that regional ring road, the first big town, after Sangareddy, if you talk about Mumbai Highway, after Sangareddy, the biggest town is Sadashupit, and after that, the biggest town is Zahirabad. 
So guys, if you observe, Sangareddy to Sadarshi Peg is around 15 kilometers. It's a national highway. So you will be to around 10, 15 minutes, not more than that. And Sadarshi Peg is a huge town as well. You can see Sadarshi Peg town. Let me zoom and show you. It is a huge town. The first biggest town at this end of the regional ring road. And it is surrounded by a lot of industries. Okay, a very big industry, which is close by is MRF factory. And then again, Pep Spenar is there. And a lot of small and medium enterprises are there around now that's one beauty. Sadashupet is in the future is going to be the downtown of Hyderabad city. If I consider Sangareti as Hyderabad, which is going to happen very soon in the next two to three years. And Sadashupet is the first town which is going to come after regional record. Sadashupet already has employments of small medium enterprises surrounding uh, Sadashupet. MRA factory, for example, has around 5,000 people working there, right? So a lot of employment is already there in Sadashupet. And apart from this, you can see NIMS, which is coming up in Jarasangam and Yalkal Mandal. So NIMS will uh, NIMS is kind of in between Sadashupet and Zahirabad. Let me zoom in and show you. This is Zahirabad, this is Sadashupet. So somewhere here, okay, Yelgoi Jarasangam, this is where uh, NIMS is going to come. So the borders of Jarasangam will be maybe equidistance or maybe a little closer to Zairabad, but also Sadashupet is also close by. It's not so far. So you will see people will settle down or people will move out for settlement or for, for their basics, for their lifestyle towards Zairabad or towards Sadashupet. Right? So migration will definitely happen because of NIMS, because of job generation NIMS towards Sadashupet for sure. That's also one of the reasons why Sadashupet town is booming. Now, if you observe, recently, I just traveled a week ago, I was shocked and started to see a lot of new ventures are coming around Sadashupet. Hundreds of acres, 200 of acres, they're selling in acres per acre this much. If you observe, okay, this is uh, out of, this is our national highway, Mumbai highway. And if you observe here, you can see these new ventures which are coming up. So I have observed that, okay, Swarna Bhumi and Subhagruha are coming up with some ventures around this outer. This is an outer road which saves the traffic uh, from going in the town. So this is a national highway. From here, you can go or you can go from the outer. So surrounding the outer, there are some ventures. Subhagruha is coming up with, Swarnabhumi is coming up with. And uh, the news is they're going to launch it about 20,000. Some people are saying even 25,000. So you can see a lot of these big players are coming around this area now. And apart from this, even after crossing uh, Sadashupet near Arur, near Budera, near Kamkol, near Digwa, a lot of ventures are coming, huge ventures, 1,000 acres ventures. I've seen 1,000 acre ventures there. 100, I've seen a lot of big ventures are coming there. Hundreds of acres of ventures are also coming there. So now, question is, is it good to invest in Sadashupet? Definitely you should. In fact, one good news for all of you, we are also doing a venture in Sadashipet very soon. I'll announce it soon when we register the land, which is going to happen the next month. But what is the right strategy to invest in Sadashipet? See, Sadashipet is a growing town. Definitely, with ha it has it definitely has current employment with companies around it, as well as futuristic employment because of NIMS is also there, right? But what is the right strategy to invest in Sadashipet? According to me, invest in the range of 10 to 12,000. Don't go beyond that. If you're getting less than 10,000, it's perfect. But if you're getting something even in 12,000, good location, close to highway, you can still go for it. But investing more than 12, 15,000 in Sadashipet right now, I don't know how wise the decision could be because it's a growing place. Definitely, if you get in the 10 or 12 uh, price range, it can definitely go to 20, 25,000 for sure. But if you're entering at 25 or 20,000, I don't know if it can pull 40,000. Uh, it is still uncertain, right? So try to get at a, try to get early in Sadashipet and try to get at a lesser price, less than 10,000 or max 12,000. Don't go beyond that. I'm talking about 2022, right now when I'm recording this video. Now, growth potential definitely when the work of regional link road starts, you will see again a lot of buzz and hype in that area very soon. And once the names also starts up, when one or two companies starts up, especially EV manufacturing units will start up. So that should be, we'll see one more hype. If you want to invest your money and grow your money peacefully for the next five years, you can consider Sadashi Pit. You have to do your due diligence before investing in this area because there are a lot of players. Okay. And if you need any help, I'm there to guide you. In fact, very soon we are also starting a venture. 
in the same area. If you want to be a part of it, you can be. It's a very good location at a very decent price. I'll announce it soon, so wait for that. So physically, also, I'm going to explore this area. Whatever I told you in this map, I'm going to physically show you very soon, probably in a few days. So wait for that video as well. So I hope you got an understanding. So Sadashivpet is a downtown, kind of a downtown of Hyderabad very soon, if Sangareddy is a part of the city. Sadashivpet is close to regional Lingdor. Sadashivpet already has a lot of employment around it. Sadashivpet has expect has a future employment of NIMS, which is expected, which is going to happen soon. And it's an EV manufacturing uh, kind of a manufacturing uh, NIMS. So definitely it will be happening. It is not something which will get delayed. It will happen soon, according to me at least comparatively from pharma city, right? So it's a good investment. As I said, again, 10 to 12,000 is a decent price. If you get something at 10, perfect. Otherwise, don't stretch beyond 12. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon in a new video. Till then, take care.